Hi, you've now gotten to week three. So what are we going to do this week? Well, week three will be all about minerals and water. And the reason why minerals and water are covered in the same week is because they're quite related. Now, first we'll discuss water. I'm sure you know that water is essential, but why exactly do we need water? We'll cover the role of water in the body. We'll look at sources of water intake and the major routes of water loss. And we'll address what happens when we don't drink enough water. We'll also spend a fair amount of time on bottled waters. You will learn why some bottled waters can be called mineral waters and why others can't. We'll discuss the salutary properties attributed to some waters. Is there any value to drinking certain bottled waters over tap water? Now, the next topic will be dietary minerals. And the first thing you'll learn is the difference between dietary minerals and dietary vitamins and the difference between the major minerals and the trace elements. Are you curious? Well, it's all coming up this week. Now, the rest of the week will be devoted to sodium and potassium. Now, sodium is a very important dietary mineral because together with chloride, it forms salt. And I probably don't need to tell you that excess intake of salt is a major problem for many people across the world. We will see why a high salt intake is a concern, what foods contribute the most to our salt intake, and what strategies are currently undertaken to try to get people to eat less salt. Of course, you need some sodium, and you'll learn why that is. And we'll also bring in uh, potassium, which is closely linked to sodium. Now, at the end of the week, you'll be tested by a section exam. Have a great week.